Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is um, my favorite things to make. Uh, as you might know, I am participating in the March Meet the Maker Instagram challenge and yeah, this was one of the topics. What I like to create most is jewelry that tells a story. Um, it's mostly figurative and playful jewelry and I know that in these days minimalistic jewelry is very popular but that's just not me and so it's okay to have your own style and not follow trends and just make things that you really like to make and um, yeah at this moment I am creating a lot of pieces with details from nature and um, yeah, I, I I heard some of my customers say, yeah, they they look more mature, or you can see that you, you became a mom and um, your your work is less playful. But um, to me, it really doesn't feel like that because I also still really um, enjoy making jewelry with uh, with soft wax, like sculpting figures and animals and yeah creating little stories in my mind um, but to me working with details from nature or making these figures and animals it feels completely the same and i am really just playing around on my workbench trying not to think too much about the whole process because i am someone who is overthinking everything and making jewelry and trying to be in the zone of creating um, I try to just focus on on what I see and what I am feeling and yeah trying to play with compositions or shapes or whatever um, and trying not to think about other stuff I know that my mind is constantly trying to remind me that I have to do laundry or I don't know what we're going to eat uh, for dinner or all these kind of stuff during the years I became better in focusing on just let it go and just play and I feel like I make the most beautiful pieces and um, yeah my favorite things are mostly the, the ones I made when I was really in the zone of creating. I know there are a lot of books and podcasts and videos and blogs about this topic and I'm wondering if you want to share your favorite uh, because yeah I'm very interested. So there is a lot to say about favorite things to make and actually for me it feels like all the pieces that are new designs are the ones I like to create the most. I'm always looking for excuses to create something new or finish my new designs instead of remaking the jewelry that I sell and that custom customers have already ordered. Um, yeah, Don't get me wrong, I also really love making those pieces, otherwise they were not in my collection. But the newer items are always screaming at me. Look at me, Caroline, I'm beautiful. We know you want to finish us. I think you get what I'm trying to say, no? So another thing about favorite things to make is that what you love making most might be something different than what you are making the most. Um, it might sound strange, but I think a lot of creative people fall in this trap. Um, I know I did uh, for quite some time that, yeah, when you are designing something new, you don't know or you are not sure if people are going to like it as much as you do. So you might be um, stressed that you will not sell this new design and then 
customers come to you and they ask oh can you make this and and i want it to look like this and, and blah 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 and they show you pictures and they show you a little sketch or they try to explain what they want and you know it it is something that is completely different than your own style but you are like yeah mm, i have to pay the rent so probably okay i will do it I started making my own designs and custom orders but like I said there was a time I was doing so many custom orders and a lot of them were completely different from my own work that I didn't have the time to create all the ideas that were growing in my head. Um, so I think sometimes you have to follow your heart, leave space in your planning or Make space in your planner to focus on creating what you love making the most. Even if you know if you know this new design might be something only you will like and you think no one else will buy it. Because I think you don't have to worry about that too much when you are just starting with the new design. And yeah. I know that a lot of my favorite pieces are not the ones that I am selling the most, but I, I don't really care that much because I know that I made them and by reaching out on social media, I know that there are people in the world who will also love it as much as I do, so I will be selling these pieces, um, but it might be that I'm not selling them as much as some other pieces that I also really like but I know are more commercial. Um, I don't know if if I explain it <laughs> uh, clear or not but I, yeah I think it's something almost all creative um, business owners struggle with or have struggled with in the past. Uh, so I'm wondering how are you dealing with this or how did you overcome this because i think it's something that um it, it it can be hard to break the pattern of making this mistake all all the time and over and over again i hope you learned a little bit more about my favorite things to make if you also have a blog or a video about your favorite things you can put a link below in the comments and I would love to check it out. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye!